She thinks my tractor sexy. It really turns her on. Welcome to another Rainey's product showcase. Today we're going to be showing you how to install a custom gear shift knob and shifter extension. The installation of the gear shift knob will be in part two of this video, but right now we're going to show you how to install the shifter extension. It's already in the truck, so let's go. All right, we're going to install a uh, shifter extension. This is a 13-speed Eaton Fuller. Um, we're also going to be installing a chrome knob. Uh, the extension comes first. All right, so all we did here is disconnect the airlines off of the shift knob. They're just a quick connect fitting. You push the end in with a screwdriver, and you can just pull the line right out. Make sure you don't get them mixed up. And this shift knob just screws off. To install the extension, just remove the jam nut, and the extension screws right on. And it needs to be pretty tight. Hand tight is usually good enough. If you needed to break it loose to get it off, you could always just put two nuts on here with a wrench and double nut it and break it loose with a wrench. But they usually won't get too tight on you. Reinstall your jam nut and your shifter knob screws right back on. Screw it all the way down back on there. Installed. Six inches taller. Pretty simple. Okay guys, we just showed you how to install the 6 inch shifter extension. It also comes in 12 inch and 18 inch. But we at Rainey's prefer the 18 inch because when it comes to trucking, size does matter. My name is Ted Hall. I'm here at Rainey getting my starter fixed. I fixed my gear shift. It did extension so it won't hurt your arm as bad. Just come and visit Rainey for some chrome.